If native ads and referral marketing had a child, it would be influencer marketing. You know, native advertising is this type of marketing that blends perfectly into different kinds of marketing channels. It feels natural and integrates well into the content. It's all these amazingly sounding articles you want to click on well-known news sites. They have headlines like, doctors couldn't believe when they saw this. And then you have referral marketing, which I'm sure you are familiar with. And when both come together, boom, you have a child and it's influencer marketing. And in my today's video, you will learn some pretty fascinating stats about influencer marketing for real estate. Also how it can beat the lead costs of regular, regular Instagram ads when done right. How you can increase your success rate with influencer marketing for real estate, an influencer marketing campaign success story in real estate and how you can find these influencers. So let's get right into the stats I found for this video. Businesses make on average $5.20 for every $1 they spend on influencer marketing. And it also seems to positively affect lead quality. 51% of marketers state it helps them acquire better customers. However, there are also some things you want to keep in mind. It's avoiding fake influencers, measuring the ROI and finding the right influencers. So it's safe to assume that when you manage to measure the ROI, don't fall for the fakes and find the right influencer, you will reap the benefits of this type of marketing. Finding the right one and measuring ROI go hand in hand because the right one will make it possible for you to measure your campaign results. More about where you can find influencers for real estate later, so stay tuned. Now let's crunch some numbers and see how influencer marketing compares to Instagram ads. You pay between $100 and $500 for a sponsored post from a micro-influencer. That's according to this source. And the lowest number of followers for an influencer like that is 10,000. Think all of these 10,000 followers, followers will see a sponsored post from you? Not exactly. There is something that's called organic reach rate. It depends on how engaging is your post, but it can be between 1% and 10%. Usually this number decreases over the years, but let's stay positive. It means that from the micro-influencer with 10,000 followers, 1,000 would see your sponsored post, which you paid $500 for. From another statistic, I also know that 87% of followers take a specific action on a post with product information. That's a stat you find in my article about influencer marketing for real estate, by the way, on my website hackingrealestatemarketing.com. This action can be visiting your real estate website, following your Instagram account, if you have one, or making a purchase. Well, in the case of real estate, this would be an appointment or email subscription. So from this 87% of followers, only a portion will translate into a lead conversion. This depends on your landing page and how well you have it optimized for conversions. Let's be optimistic and you used my real estate conversion rate optimization analysis for your landing page and you get your conversion rate up to 5%. 1000 followers from the micro influencer with 10,000 followers see your sponsor post. From these 1000 followers, 87% may visit your landing page and 5% may make an appointment. That's 870 visitors to your landing page and 43.5 making an appointment. So you would have paid $500 for 43.5 leads or appointments. That's $11.50 per lead or appointment. That's not bad at all when you compare it to the lead costs for Instagram ads in 2023. The website WordStream states that the cost per click on Instagram is between 50 cents and 95 cents. When we use the average, it's 73.5 cents. That's basically the cost you pay per visit to your landing page. And with the 5% conversion rate I used earlier, earlier, you would need 20 clicks to generate one lead. That would be $14.70 per appointment or lead. As you can see, influencer marketing could be the cost per lead of Instagram ads in this scenario. But again, all stands and falls with 
working with the right influencer and being able to measure the ROI of this specific influencer marketing campaign. Now, how can you increase your success rate with influencer marketing for real estate? Here are six tips. One, use preferably micro influencers for your campaign to better target a more narrow audience and have low costs. Two, choose an influencer who, whose audience aligns as best as possible with yours. This is provided that you know your target audience, of course. Three, before you start running the campaign, get clear on your goals and objectives for the campaign. Do you want to do lead generation or increase brand awareness? Four, try as best as you can to track and analyze the performance. You can do this with dedicated landing pages or phone numbers. This makes measuring your ROI easier. Five, try to create a long-term relationship with the influencer so you can work together frequently. Well, this is provided the campaign brings the desired results. Six, try influencer event marketing. It's organizing events to invite various influencers to share this event with their followers. This is something where you could kill two birds with one shot. You get exposure to generate leads, but you can also find the ideal influencer for future campaigns. However, the main challenge will be to organize the performance tracking of the campaign. Why? Well, it's not just one influencer, but various who will share your property information or your service information on their social media channels. You may need a crazy number of dedicated landing pages, phone numbers, email addresses, etc. I've also a success story for this influencer event marketing for real estate for you. It's a success story published on Entrepreneur that involved the founder and CEO of the super luxury group, Alvaro Nunez Alfaro. They sell high-end properties. He successfully built a team of 100 global influencers by organizing an influencer marketing event. And he invited them to stay at his luxury properties in exchange for content and promotion. Well, I didn't get his performance numbers, but let's say, let's believe the article and let's say it was a success. The article say so. Now, how and where can you find these influencers for, for, for real estate? There are tools I have collected for you, link in the description. By the way, another link in the description is a free course you can use that reveals the overlooked foundation factor for your real estate lead gen success. Okay, back to the influencer tools. There is Grin, LTK, Upfluence, Creator.co, Influence City, Tracker, NeoReach, Effable, and clear. Most of these tools will inform you about the influencer's type of audience and their number of followers. Oh, and if you are a real estate agent, you want to make sure that their, their audience doesn't consist of other, real, of other realtors. Why? Well, yes, you may find real estate influencers, but these are often real estate coaches who don't target potential home sellers or owners but other real estate professionals. So based on how well they match your target audience, you can make an educated guess about which influencer you want to approach for your campaign. If you find it challenging to define your audience, you may want to check out my free course that helps you find your ideal real estate niche. And when you found your ideal real estate niche, finding your ideal audience becomes much easier link in the description below. Also check out my video on real estate marketing trends in 2024 and how you can avoid getting taken away by different hypes. Thank you and bye bye.